Well, USCIB specifically has, has a very strong global presence. So first of all, it's a very strong network across the globe, which is very, very important. The other is that USCIB is a very strong voice of business. And I think it's right that intersection, that global platform that's going to drive the changes we need. That's when business, public and private meet. Uh, and we have the PPP type of, of partnerships. Uh, and USCIB is right at the center of that. USCIB is a natural leader on the, on the business world. And we should leverage that leadership experience and expertise to promote a better knowledge of what the US companies are investing abroad and how it uh, promotes job creation. Another challenge that we face is delivering seamless service to our clients all over the world. There are lots of reasons why that's difficult, but it's mostly on the regulatory front. And USCIB, of course, is a premier organization dealing with regulatory problems around the world, particularly through its affiliates. I can speak, of course, for BIAC, which I chair, but ICC has been a great help, and so has IOE. It's, it's an international platform where we can get together with companies that have similar issues or similar types of problems and address them collectively with governments around the world, and there's nothing else like it. Some of the things we think we get out of USCIB on that is a greater understanding of uh, regulatory issues in a variety of different countries, uh, access to decision makers, a seat at the table in shaping legislation in terms of bilateral investment treaties, whether it's uh, trade finance products and services that we might want to deliver in those markets. And those are all things that uh, we get out of our membership with USCIB. Well, a lot of the new technology or new business models even technologies that have existed before but are being used in a different way pose challenges to the way you think about regulation in the context of how to apply that regulation or whether you apply regulation to these new technologies and business models. And the U.S. Council gives us both entree to those places where guidance is being developed related to how these models are going to be treated as well as an ability to talk to the people who are policy makers in this space to build coalition and consensus with industry and also across multi-stakeholder communities including academia and civil society. First, it's not just business, it's business working with government, it's government working with labor, it's all three components working together focusing on making sure markets remain open. We don't want to resort to protectionism where goods and people cannot flow across borders. So that's the most important thing that business can do. Work with government, work with labor to make sure that borders remain open and of course with your great organization.